Yo, Yugi's hitting him with the freaking guillotine at the end here. Oh my god, bro. Off with their heads. He's saying y'all are fixed up. He said there's nothing inside of you. Yo, what's up, critiquer? Click, click. Listen, I can't tell you why I haven't reacted to this yet. <laughs> I remember the first reaction I've ever did to BTS. This is one of the requests, and I still haven't did it yet. I did the Cypher Medley. It's probably a combination of these, but I never really broke down the lyrics. Like, I, I watched it with the lyrics, but I never really completely broke it down. So, this time around, we're going to break down these lyrics. We don't miss content over here. Cypher Part 1. So, this is only 2 minutes and 19 seconds, so there can't be too much here. So we're just gonna do this one first and break it down. I'm gonna do each one. I'll probably do it day by day. I'll probably do one tomorrow too. So let's get through these ciphers, man. I'm excited. I love this trio. This rap line is freaking amazing, bro. I will always love Sugar and RM and J Hope. I came into the into BTS and Hobie was my my bias. And now, you know, I haven't looked into Hobie's solo stuff too much yet. I love Chicken Noodle Soup. Dude, killed it. All I've really listened to so far solo stuff is Sugar. So currently, Sugar is my bias. But let's do this, man. I'm hyped. Let's do this. This is what it sounds like. Oh, okay. I was about to go crazy, bro. Damn hip pussy, I don't rap or cut that pussy. Chucky Bones and I don't see shit, I'm your nine mushy. Oh, this is boom bad. Don't let him appeal, she will take my mushy. Back him with a need to eat, how you kill me. So bring the monster back and extract my monster swag. So this is the monster tracks, my freaking monster rag. And that pan home, the jungle, the jungle, the jungle, the top of my test. I'm saying the leader from a leader, Egon said, yo, Sam, say. Yeah, the top of the top of the top. Still be popping and rocking, I'm stopping and blocking, I'm like the Cassio. Okay, okay, okay. Because my freaking darn, we have some guys with black and the flow. Oh, your dad. Unless Randa and Ryder are some other people, I think he referenced himself five times here and he called himself your dad. <laughs> Man, June being a savage. But yo, I'm gonna catch all the lyrics afterwards. I'm gonna just react to the flow and performance of it right now. Let's keep going. A potential gets retreated. The flow, bro. The flow. This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about, bro. The flow is insane. Whoo. Whoo. J flow, bro. I remember this from the medley. This is one of my favorite parts. Minus. It's a major difference. If you talk smack about me, I'm Memento. Memento. Have you ever seen that movie? He forgets everything. <laughs> talk smack about me, I forget it. I'm, I didn't even notice that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he just inspired you, bro, at the end. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I'm I'm excited to look and break down all these lyrics. But he was like, he was like, so just rap as a hobby, but if you feel guilty, try harder. What? 
<laughs> He's saying if I say you should rap as your hobby and you feel like maybe you should do that because you feel guilty that you haven't put enough effort into rapping, then uh, if you feel guilty about it, then you should just try harder, bro. Oh my God. All right, let's break down all these lyrics. Let's go, man. I thought it was gonna be this beat. I was about to lose my freaking mind. Just imagine J Flow on that. Damn hip pussy. I don't rap or cut that pussy. Chop your bones in an idol shit. I'm your nine pussy. Okay. Damn, the hip hop pride idol rapper cut that bullshit. Okay, so I didn't know we were gonna get into some beef here. Right here, he's referencing his beef with B Free. And B Free, they were talking down on J Hope Sugar and Rap Monster because they joined K pop when they were having successful, little successful careers as rappers, but then they joined K pop. He said it was for the money. And he was saying that they should have stayed rappers. And he's saying, you a hip hop pride idol rapper? Cut that bullshit. He's an originally an idol shit anyway. They look down on me. So he's saying he was originally in K pop anyway. Then he went over to, to hip hop and now he wants to get mad at me because I'm doing K pop? Like, what? You crazy ass. They give their principles to the dogs and laugh at my name. So he's saying you throw away your principles. You only know how to go with the tide and look down on others. Ooh, you only know how to ride the wave and look down on me. You just look down on me because you just trying to make yourself feel better. How will you kill me? So I bring the monster back. My monster swag. So this is the monster track because of my freaking monster rap. So basically with this cypher, he's trying to say, I'm bringing back hip hop with this cypher. Y'all want to say I'm not hip hop no more. I'm just K-pop. All right. Well, here's some real boom bap hip hop for you. I don't rap or cut that bullshit. Born to the and he's shit. I'm your nine talking to shit. shit. Down and get down and hit him a pew. Team will talk about Mushi. Back him more than a need to eat. How you kill me? So that quick flow. So bag and extract my monster swag. So this is the monster track. It's my freaking monster rap. Him that pan hong the jong the jong. But poke the top of my text. I'm saying the leader. So I'm a leader. Eagle said that your jam set. Oh, hoo -hoo, boy. Look at him, bro. Just being cocky. The modern day Hong killed dongs. Who's that? So this is a movie, apparently. And I guess in the plot, this is son of a nobleman defends the pe peasants from greedy rulers, local bandits. So I guess he's trying to say he's protecting his people, like the army. You know, he, he's doing this for army. You know, he, he wants to do it for the people that don't have much that, that need somebody. They see the good things, but can't call it good. So they see the good things that I do, but they don't call my music good. Third generation leader, so I'm a lead you. Look at the cockiness, bro. I'm the third generation leader. <laughs> I'm a lead you. I'm saying, yeah, I'm the top of the top of the top. Popping and rocking and stopping and blocking them. Like the Cassius Lance, I'm Don. I'm a Don. I don't know where the Cassius Lance is. Don't turn the beat off because I'm not freaking done. Don't play around on top of the beat. Cause every kick is my freaking zone. <laughs> I was always generous, but now I'ma murder you rappers, your rappers. Cut them up by order, then I'ma murder you haters. Talk your shit, RM. Now look at me and tell me who's in your top five. Rap monster, random rider, rap mon, your dad. <laughs> Dude, I love the cockiness. I love the sarcasm and this flow right here. Watch this, bro. Listen to this flow. Ah, uh, the DJ got the beat, scratched it up for us a little bit, and now J Flow's coming in. So he says, right now it's Hope World from BTS. Everyone follows me, my potential gets retweeted. He's saying, everybody knows my potential. Let everyone know my flow. Ride your eardrums and fill your bodies. So I, I really do think Hobie, his main focus is his flow. Like that is his main focus. He just wants to be flowing, bro. 
I sharpen my sword for tomorrow. Sharpen my pencil. Get back in the days. So I sharpen my sword, I sharpen my pencil, I sharpen my rap skills for tomorrow. But he's saying get back in the days. I sharpen my skills as in like, I studied the greats. And now I can rap like back in the days. But he also might be saying get back in the days. Like your days, like you should get back in your days. I'm sharpening my sword, You're, you should get back in the days. <laughs> Considering my age, I was a kid who didn't know rhymes. Dude. He's rhyming this in Korean and English, considering my age. Back in the day is considering my age, but he's, he doesn't say age. He says, now I go. I was just a common kid from Guangzhou who looked at idols. Now I'll show you on the cipher on top of this track. Cockiness. I'll reveal my aspirations. I'm above the minors. It's a major difference from you. I fill up the TV screen. Now, I do remember these lyrics from the Cypher medley, but it's been a minute. And to be honest, my old content doesn't look the best, man. I hate the quality of my old content. I just want to have a good looking breakdown of this Cypher because <laughs> this Cypher deserves the recognition, bro. It's sick. At least from what I can remember from the Cypher medley, bro, it was amazing. All right, let's catch up. <laughs> The flow, bro. Oh my god, bro. TV screen and I tell what uh rapper cost them no couple more go to go the better they got one hat them go so So Rapper Kosh you know I take away the foam and I spit it out if there's anything that's fake about me I try to make sure I spit it out Rapper Kosh you know I take away the foam and I spit it out so if there's anything fake about me I throw that away. I make sure that I cut that off. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I stop being fake. I, I try to be as real as po as I possibly can. Whatever I want, wherever I go, it becomes an issue if you're jealous. Go to the hospital two weeks to heal. So he's saying I do whatever I want. That's an issue if you're jealous. So you should go to the hospital, you know, two weeks to heal. Because it's going to take you a while because you're going to be super jealous of the things that I got. J-Hope plays a foul on top of the game that rides with hip-hop ride. I think he meant hip-hop pride. So, is he saying that J-Hope plays a foul ball while he's on top of the game? Like, he doesn't need to play the foul ball? You know, he's saying, like, I don't have to dish you. I don't have to catch this foul ball because I already know we're going to win this game anyway. And he said that rides with the hip-hop pride. So he's saying that he knows BTS rides with hip hop pride. Like we have hip hop pride. We care about hip hop. But y'all are trying to say that we don't. So that's a foul ball. But I'm going to play it anyway. I'm still going to diss you. Oh my God. That's so deep. That is hard. That is hard right there, bro. Oh my goodness. Come on, dog. Woo. I love Hobie's delivery, man. All right, here we go, man. Yungi. I have yet to go to the army, but my hobby is sharpshooting. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. We are bulletproof was a big hit. You see that right there? A big hit. They signed a big hit. We are bulletproof. Was a big hit. <laughs> it was big hit. It was under big hit. But it was also a big hit. The clumsy fakers was pricked and reacted. Feel a little more inferior. The quality of my pronunciation is 4K. <laughs> my quality, my pronunciation. You can hear everything that I say. You, I can't understand. He's dissing mumble rap right now, basically. He's saying, all you fakers, all you guys acting like you're hard and flexing and whatever. Y'all were mad and y'all reacted. Y'all are mad that we're being real in ourselves and, and we're sounding hard. I'm dope, man. I'm the chopping of the beat. And when Yoongi said chopping, he's referencing Frederick Chopin, 
who is a Polish composer and pianist. So basically he's saying, I'm the producer of this beat. <laughs> I won't even change, I was born a rapper. My attitude is my mentor. Even if you talk smack about me, I'm a memento. See, this is what I talk about. Memento is a movie where he forgets. He forgets, he wakes up and forgets who he is. He has all these tattoos on him to remember who he is and what he should do. He's saying, you talk smack about me, I forget about it. Show your hip hop pride, but you'll still feel impotent. <laughs> oh, shot to the heart. And you're to blame, Yungi. You give rap a bad name, apparently, to them. He's saying, you'll feel impotent because you know you don't have as much as you wanted to. Just because, you know, you're showing your hip hop pride or you love hip hop this much, so you'll stick to hip hop. But hey, you don't have as much as you wanted. Hide your jealousy. I can see your IP address. <sighs> ooh, ooh, hide your, ooh. He said, I know you're jealous. I know where you live, bro. I can see, I can find out where you live if, if you want to get real about it. <laughs> I'm a boiler. I get hot in an instant. <laughs> like a spoiler, you're so typical. <laughs> Fixed up and stupid hip hop losers with nothing inside. God. Yo, Yugi's hitting them with the freaking guillotine at the end here. Oh my God, bro. Off with their heads. He's saying y'all are fixed up. He said there's nothing inside of you. Damn, bro. He called them all nothing. Like y'all had nothing inside. Like, so is he trying to say like, y'all get your raps written for you and stuff like that? Like you didn't really come up with this stuff yourself. <laughs> yeah, nothing inside. Like you don't put in as much work as me too, probably. It's too hard to last in this growing world of K-pop. Hey, K-pop is getting huge. So just rap as a hobby. It's the end of the world if you're guilty, try harder. <laughs> hey, man, he just inspired the people he's dissing at the same time. <laughs> Act like it's the end of the world. If you're guilty, if you feel like you haven't done enough, then try harder. Damn, bro. Ugh. Yo, the cockiness is crazy right now, bro. All right, we need to re-listen to the verse now that we know everything. Let's go, man. Yungi. Let's do this, man. Uh, uh, the flows. Let's go, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. The bars, bro. After that, they couldn't say nothing, man. Arm just said, I'm your father. Damn, bro. You let Arm say he's your father. Man, and then I just seen that Be Free apologize for what he said. Oh, why? Because Army's way too big and they're just crushing you right now. Not letting you do anything. Yeah. Shoot, bro. That was hard, man. <laughs> it's always going to be hard when it comes to these three, man. I already know. I, I'm hyped for some more content. I cannot wait. Now wait, I, I really hope there's a Cypher 5 or something. I, I really want some more. Just these three, these three guys making a song together. God, it's legendary stuff. So Cypher part two coming very soon. More breakdowns, trying to catch all the content. Don't miss any bars over here on this channel. If you like this video, I really appreciate it. if you give this video a like. Yeah, man, stay tuned for some more deep and awesome lyrical content from BTS and the rap line. Love you guys so much. Thanks for critiquing with me. Stay classy. Critic out.